Welcome. This is the first video in the mini series on merchandise distribution in S4 HANA Retail for Merchandise Management. There are four more videos, each showcasing one of the four main distribution methods available with merchandise distribution. Let us begin by looking at some of the benefits of merchandise distribution. Merchandise distribution enables you to plan, control and manage the end-to-end flow of merchandise. It supports both push and pull processes, aka product and recipient driven processes, and it allows you to carry out cross docking or flow through in your distribution center. Let us look at the basics of merchandise distribution. There are four main process variants, and we have provided four additional videos explaining each of them in detail, including a practical demo. The process can be either push or pull driven, sometimes referred to as product slash article driven or recipient driven. For push or product driven, distribution is planned using an allocation table. Procurement documents, vendor orders, and issued documents, warehouse orders or deliveries, are then created as follow-on documents. Pull or recipient-driven distribution is planned using a collective purchase order. In this case, issued documents, sales or stock transport orders, already exist for the recipient. Collective purchase orders containing totals per article and distribution center are created as procurement documents. The terminology cross-docking is sometimes used interchangeably with the term flow-through. In traditional cross-docking, goods are ordered and delivered from the supplier and logistics units that are not repacked between goods receipt and goods issue. In flow-through cross-docking, large logistic units are received. If a recipient receives a smaller quantity of goods than is contained in one logistic unit, the large unit is split into smaller ones, sometimes even with additional services added to the product, such as a flat-to-hanging process for textiles. Pull and push-driven processes are fueled by a different set of documents. In a push scenario, we use allocation tables. In a pull scenario, we utilize collective purchase orders. An allocation table is a tool typically used by the head office to plan, monitor and control the distribution of stocks of merchandise among different stores. It represents a product or push-driven distribution methodology. You can use a collective purchase order to combine the requirements of multiple recipients that may exist in the system, for instance as sales orders or stock transport orders, to create a single order for a supplier. The four variants can be divided into a planning phase and an execution phase. The number of process steps varies by process variant. We go through them in detail, in episode 2 to 5 of this mini-series. Push-driven processes have a couple of more process steps, mainly because the process is driven top-down, and a feedback loop with the stores is needed. In the execution phase, we can see that the flow-through variants have the most process steps. This is mainly due to the increased flexibility they provide, enabling repacking and value add-ons as part of the flow. This video is part of a mini-series of five episodes covering the main variants of merchandise distribution and S4 HANA Retail for Merchandise Management. In Episode 2, we cover in detail push or product-slash-article-driven cross-docking. Episode 3 takes you through the push or product-slash-article driven flow-through process. In Episode 4, we make a switch to pull or recipient-driven processes by looking at pull-based cross-docking. We complete the series by showing the pull or recipient-driven flow-through process. Merchandise distribution also contains two less no process variants not covered in this series. The first one is allocation with direct delivery, third-party processing. Distribution is planned using an allocation table. The merchandise is then ordered from an external or internal vendor. As the vendor supplies the recipients directly, the system does not generate a warehouse order. In addition, we have allocation of warehouse stocks. In this case, the merchandise has already been procured. The distribution of existing warehouse stocks is planned using an allocation table. The system then generates warehouse orders for the recipients. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Retail for Merchandise Management, on-premise in the cloud. It is also available in SAP ECC Retail, with a different user experience. Let us recap some of the benefits of merchandise distribution. Merchandise distribution enables you to plan, control and manage the end-to-end -end flow of merchandise. It supports both push and pull processes, aka product and recipient-driven processes, and it allows you to carry out cross-docking or flow-through in your distribution center. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.